X-linked recessive conditions result from gene variants that are present on the X chromosome. In this case, the father has the usual form of the gene on his X chromosome. However, the mother is a carrier for an X-linked recessive condition. A parent passes on one from each pair of their chromosomes to each child. Which one they pass on is down to chance. There are therefore four possible combinations of sex chromosomes that the children of this couple could inherit. The first two combinations show a child who has inherited the father's X chromosome, and so will be a girl. She has a 1 in 2 or 50% chance that she will inherit the mother's X chromosome with the usual form of the gene, and therefore will not be a carrier. Equally, she has a 1 in 2 or 50% chance that she will inherit the altered form of the gene, and so will be a carrier. If the child inherits the father's Y chromosome, as shown in these two combinations, the child will be a boy. He too has a 1 in 2 or 50% chance of inheriting his mother's usual form of the gene and would therefore not have the condition. Equally, he has a 1 in 2 or 50% chance of inheriting the altered form of the gene and so would have the condition. The daughters of women who are carriers for an X-linked condition do not usually show signs of the condition while sons have a 1 in 2 chance of having the condition. Each one of the possible outcomes shown here is equally likely, and it is important to remember that chance has no memory. So the chance that each son will inherit an altered copy of the gene and therefore develop the condition is 1 in 2 or 50% each time. This is irrespective of whether or not the parents have already had sons with or without the condition.